Sorry, what's your blue? Yeah. All right, we have uh, getting pretty far in loser side of bracket. I believe this is uh, semifinals of loser side for doubles. Interesting to see how this goes. Oh, we got some tag mischief going on. There's some trickery afoot. PS2 is such a good stage. This is good. PS2. PS2. It's a good stage. Good stage. It should be the only stage. Yeah. Every every match should be just played. Nah, I, I like some variety. I like some variety in the game, but if there was to be only one stage, I would like PS2. I'd pick PS2. Especially for doubles. It's just good. I like in doubles and singles, and it's just good all around. Yeah, it's even it's good. It's good everywhere. Well rounded. Yeah. All right. So I know that uh, Bihu was telling me that he faced this team earlier. And uh, he felt that uh, he felt that B who and Four Sword or B and D and Four Sword had uh, better team synergy than him and Blue, which makes sense because him and Blue they just kind of uh, they just kind, just kind of, of randomly team, yeah. yeah, to come out. I was glad seeing people that come out. I Project. wasn't expecting B and D and Four Sword to even be here. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, I know they're coming out. But I was talking to I was talking to Four Sword a little bit, and he seemed like he was pretty interested. But I didn't know that B and D was coming out too. All right. Yeah, it's exciting to see them. Yeah, it's always excited to see exciting to see people make it out to vents that don't normally get to. Great. What is going on? I don't know what's going on at the ledge. Everyone's getting. I'm pretty carried. sure there's four players at the ledge at one time. None of them have tethers. Doesn't <laughs> even make sense. <laughs> They're just all floating at the ledge indefinitely. It's like a clusterfuck. It's like when four Sonics are using homing attack. <laughs> Yo, one thing I will say. Blue is pretty good at recovering as Mario. Yeah. I was playing him earlier before uh, Rocket started. His mashing is on point. Mash, he can mash. He can, it, it, it's been, it's been clear that he can mash. Is that up air? Uh, I was watching the other side, so I didn't see. Pretty much all the high percent stocks are being taken. Stock is next. Maybe. Maybe. It's really hard exactly saying what Kirby's looking for, because I don't, honestly don't know too much Kirby tech myself. Yeah. Uh, or sort of, he makes good use of him. I don't, I don't think Kirby's necessarily that good, but him and B&D make really good teammates. They just have really good awareness and make good decisions. Yeah. I like the uh, Ganondorf Captain Falcon as well. But we won't talk about that in a moment. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> nice off the top by Snake. Pretty much in Red Team's uh, favor right now. Maybe we could die at any moment, but that requires that he gets hit. Oh, well, I was saying that uh, Snake oh, did lose his stock. It's really hard. I really want to know how uh, B and D does it. How he knows which which player is sticky. Sometimes, sometimes the, there's like a big cluster going on. You don't. You're not sure if you stuck your teammate or who. Yep, it was on Marth. Even more things that just require more and more awareness. It's definitely doable. Doc Doc could definitely do this. Yeah, for sure. I'm not sure if I like what's going on here with the with the team, but that was that was good going deep. Yeah, that was good going deep with the back air. I like when B and D drops her grenade, 
Four Sword will pick it up and then throw it at the opponent. He won't just let it sit there. Like most players, I mean, if they're playing teams, they just want to avoid bombs altogether. But I think it's cool that he uses Snake's like weapons as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That, he did that last game. Like, wave dash over the grenade after it's been dropped and throw it at the opponent. Just to change his movement is a, is a great option. Yeah, with certain characters, item awareness is uh, really important because you can get a lot of mileage off of it. Right. Oh, I don't know. I'm respecting Blue as a player, I'm saying it is. He has some, he's shown his skill. But I don't know, Fox is pretty fragile in Project M if you don't know some of the matchups. Right. And uh, Snake might be a little weird. What the? I think they might have went for the uh, for the thing. So do you know about it, uh, Brent? What? I'm not entirely. BU is complaining about some Omnigate thing, but I think that's something else. So say that. So in this situation, let's say that. Uh, let's say that B and D Stickies. Let's say that B and D Stickies Fox. All right. Mm -hmm. Kirby grabs Fox. And then up throws Fox. Kirby grabs Fox and then up throws Fox. Rando. If B and D will Rando. If B and D detonates the sticky, so you know how Kirby's up throw like flies him up in the air. Right. It's not like size McToss, he goes like up and up and he disappears. If the C4 detonates while Kirby's up there, the other player automatically dies. Oh, he's Rando. Who's Rando? Now it's pretty situational to set up, good guy. but you can take stocks yeah. with it at zero. Huh. And again, that just speaks for the uh, overall awareness that B&D and Four Sword have together as teammates. Right. They seem to be doing very well. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. I don't know if I think Fox might be the, the best choice. Like, Fox is definitely good. He's incredible in doubles, but. You have to be really careful, especially near the ledge with uh, different characters in this game. Because a lot of characters have like very poor in recovery options. Yeah. So if you get caught in like snakes up at the ledge, you can automatically just turn it around and kill you with it. Good stuff by Four Sword, taking the taking care of uh, Blue at the ledge so that way B and D could recover without Fox. Shout out to the rando. Shout out to the rando the venue. He's showing he, up. He's already talking about. He's already Shout talking about, about single. <laughs> <laughs> rando might have some of the best commentary that I think I've I've ever heard. We'll try and get some of his uh, gems <laughs> snuck in here and there. Yeah, we'll get him Ooh. in there. Good stuff by uh, B and D. Interrupted the up throw up air by Fox and just straight up hit Kirby with the. He's gonna take it. Hit Kirby take with, the the, stock. with the grenade. Oh, here we go. Here we go. With the sticky on. Here it is. Yep. Call the colonel. <laughs> Call the colonel. 